What is up, Bachelor Nation reality fans and athletically declined fans? We are the power couple, and we are bringing you the inside scoop. Well, not really inside scoop because we weren't there, but our reactions to the finale. Well, not even the finale. The women tell all. I was very disappointed to find out this was not the finale, and I have to watch another episode of this show. We only have one more. We only have one more. But... That's so, like, the beginning of the finale was... It's not the finale. Of the Women Tell All was very entertaining. It was. It was It was what we saw all season. It was Maria and the... Sydney Ar and Leia and Jess. Yeah, Maria versus the Army of Skanks is what <laughs> we're calling them. Oh, man. Could not have said it better myself. But Maria actually had backup this time. She did. A lot of people did. come into her side. Edwina, for the win on that one, coming to her, not her beck and call, but like just go, like being by her side on that whole situation. And then like Lauren coming up and be like, I was the one that told her to shut the F up. Like, the women did come to Maria's side, and Bachelor Nation really came to Maria's side on this one. If you really think about it, like, they were all Maria fans. Whenever it came to the signs and everything on, like, standing, uh, keeping Maria, I guess, like, being in her corner, they really showed up in that, in that whole situation. But other than that, it was just kind of like... Going it was kind through, of blah, right? Yeah, it's just kind of, kind of going through everything. But I will say, I called Rachel going home. Me and Travis Duke both did. I texted in the group chat as soon as like we found out that it happened. That I called it. He did too. I'm calling Kelsey A to for Joey to get down on one knee. But then again, we saw that little sneak peek. At the end, where it's like, does he go home without getting engaged? Yeah, what if you had to guess, what do you think that is about? So we saw that Daisy did have some like reservations on this whole thing after meeting his family. So I'm thinking it has to do with that. If I had to guess, I would say they're trying to swerve us. Yeah, they're, like, they're like they trying to make do. it look like. He like he doesn't like like a girl says no. I feel like that's too obvious. Yeah, and the, like they wouldn't have shown us that if that's what happened. So I'm gonna guess that just whatever girl he doesn't choose, which I'm gonna say is pr in my opinion is Kelsey A. Yeah, whichever one he doesn't choose is gonna go nuts. Ooh. Like, is going to freak out. Ooh. And that's why he walked away saying, I did not see it going that way. Yeah. Or And he looked so messed up. Uh, because I just feel like if, the, if he wasn't going to end up with somebody, they wouldn't have shown us that. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, you, if that's the case, they just showed us the whole episode. Yeah. I don't know. But, I just feel like this whole season overall has been kind of the Maria show if I'm being completely honest has been like basically playing her up to be do we get Maria as the bachelorette no she's gonna go to bachelor in paradise that's just what it's gonna be I think she would be a good bachelorette I think she would be too but she doesn't fit the stereotype as the bachelorette what do you mean by that explain so the stereotype of the bachelorette is someone who everyone fell in love with with the pure genuineness of them look at the crowd tonight i mean yeah but the person who would be your stereotypical bachelorette would be either daisy or rachel i don't know I don't know. It Not would be the because... person who wouldn't, that didn't cause the drama. But then I backtrack on that because Hannah B 
was the drama in her season and then she was the bachelorette and then she was like the topic of discussion in seasons to come with like bachelor in paradise because she didn't get engaged on she did get engaged but it didn't work out on the bachelor but i don't know so i would say that daisy makes sense to me not so much rachel and that's not because Look, I've said it on multiple episodes of this show that Rachel was my favorite all mm. season. Uh, I thought he's Ra partial to girls named Rachel. What can I say? But <laughs> even I, in suits, I thought, <laughs> I, thought uh, I thought Rachel was just awesome all season long. But and you know, I don't have the history of the Bachelor that you do. But if I'm if I'm like booking a show, right? I I don't know that I feel like Rachel is almost too genuine for this show in the way that she's not like a character. Like well, like that's if what I, you want. I no, that's what you want in real life. That's yeah. What, yeah, like in real life, Rachel's awesome. I'm saying if I'm making a show, what's going to make for the best TV is to put Maria up there because Maria is such a character. Or put Daisy up there because Daisy is America's sweetheart. Rachel, to me, is not the girl that you date and marry on a reality show. She's That's the girl that fair. you date and marry in real life. That's fair. So, I get that. I get that. Which is a compliment. That is a very big compliment. I would much rather have that than be a caricature on TV. But yeah. I'm just saying if I'm booking a show, what's going to get the most views is like, oh, well, Maria was, while I am team Maria, it's like Maria was kind of nuts all season. Let's put her on TV more. That's or, why she's perfect for Bachelor in Paradise because Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah, but nobody is watches there. Bachelor yes, in Paradise. Yes, they do. Yes, they do because they go for the chaos that is Bachelor in Paradise because it's multiple couples. I guess multiple Bachelorette, ba people that are on the Bachelor and the Bachelorette <laughs> all together. So you see multiple seasons mixed together and you see the conflict a lot more because you'll see the Sydney and maria drama go in between boyfriends at that point god that sounds exhausting it's so much fun to watch though that's why she is made for bachelor in paradise can we talk about how in this uh women's tell all that somehow Sydney and Leia come out looking even worse than they did going right? in. <laughs> I, I agree. Like, oh my goodness. And and Jess. And Jess. And like when Maria said, she's like, y'all are conveniently placed right next to each other. I was like, like it was, it was like, how could like we already the world already hated you. Like what One. you want in this situation is like they come out and you know, you, like you was, actually learn to learn to like them. And it's like, oh, you know, they were just in a house with all these other girls. Things got blown out of proportion. They're not actually. They these, got a bad edit, yeah, all like, these other things. Yeah, they're not actually these jerks, you know. It's just like it was either editing or just the environment, yeah. you know, or whatever. No, they kind of doubled down and were like, this is who we are. Yeah. They're like, well, we didn't like you the first time we saw like, you. Like, usually reunions is where you go to clear the air of, like, all, like, the grievances that you had and stuff like that, which, like, they did make up. I don't... I don't uh, that was for TV. That was 100% that was for, for TV. TV. I don't think it was actually true or genuine. So, all in all, they're terrible. And that's just a simple fact of the matter. They're terrible people, and... They're going to be on Bachelor in Paradise, too. I'm calling it. I I hesitate to call them terrible people. I Very immature. Oh, 100%. Very immature. Yeah. That's what I'll say. But, uh, shoot, what else? Oh, oh, oh. I, I need to put out a public service announcement. So, Rachel said that she received so much hate when she like got her uh phone back or i don't know do they take their phones and stuff yeah I, they do I, take their they don't have their uh, phones this was after the after it aired um 
but that she received so much hate and people were saying racist stuff. People were making TikToks of like whenever Rachel and Joey kissed and acting like they were throwing up and all that. If I find the person that's disseminating this Rachel hate, it's on site. It's on site. Rachel was nothing but a class act the entire season. No drama around Rachel. She's a very attractive girl, and she was just the nicest person ever. So, like, if you are out there putting out hate on somebody like that, get a life. Get a life. You suck. You suck if you did that. But that's... That's all I got to say, really. The, I missed the rant. Oh, you missed the rant. I said if uh, if I find out who's putting out this Rachel hate, it's on site. On site. Sorry, I, our dog ran across the street again. But yeah, that's. I think I think that Rachel is not built for this show or dating shows in general. I hope that she. I hope that. As much as I liked Rachel, she was my favorite this season. I don't want to see her on another show. I yeah, just hope she that she finds better. somebody out in the real world. And I that... truly think that she will, if I'm being completely honest. Like, the social media trolls, they go too far. We saw it in Love is Blind. They go too far. They have nothing else better to do with their lives than to tear people down because they feel bad about themselves. That's what bullies do. That's what social media trolls are. I will say this. I am trolling one person. Yes, I'm he is trolling, trolling one Jay. person online. And I think I can rally support for this trolling. And that is Jay from The Challenge. Jay, formerly on Survivor, multiple seasons of The Challenge. And this uh, this season, he, it was found out that he cheated on his girlfriend back home while on the show. And never ag- and, admitted and will to will refuse to admit it, even though like seven people said they witnessed it. But uh, I've been going on every one of Jay's And TikToks. the person he did it with said, yeah, it happened. <laughs> yeah. I've been going on every one of Jay's TikToks that... Cr- I'm not seeking them out, but if they... Because cr- I used to follow Jay. I used to be a fan. And if they, if they, if he comes on my for you page, I've been going on every TikTok and saying, "Hey, remember that time we all found out you cheated on your girlfriend on national TV?" And he's been deleting my comments. He has not blocked me, but he's been deleting my comments. So I take that as a small victory, and I will continue to troll you, Jay. You're the worst. <laughs> yeah, but like back on the social media trolls. Even though my husband is currently one to one person, but it's not justified. One. It's it is justified because he did cheat on someone, but that's that's a and I'm not saying anything for another out of, show. I'm also not saying anything out of line. I'm just saying, hey, remember that time this yeah, all happened? Yeah, he's not <laughs> like he's not calling anyone names, but like at the end of the day, these people that are like, like she said, she got hundreds of messages. Like her phone blew up after the hometown visit because. She, like, because of her culture, like, what is that, like... What does that have to do with you? Honestly, like, is she hurting you? Is her culture hurting you? No, it's not. And that's, like, what, like, that's what's wrong today is, like, if you're not the same as everyone else, then you're wrong. You know what? At the end of the day, if you don't like Rachel's culture... Don't watch it. Keep it to yourself and then just don't marry somebody from that culture. That is your right. Yeah. But you know what? Don't go online and bash people about their culture. Like, come on, get a life. Like, you wouldn't want someone doing that to you. Think about the roles be- the roles being reversed. Yeah, you bunch of hick rednecks. Like, get- <laughs> I-, I don't know. It might have been not. <laughs> I don't know. It, just- it probably was. So <laughs> let's be honest. Let's be honest. It probably is. It's our people. Well, my people. Um, Johnny's from the city, (laughs) but like, just get a life, get a life, get out of your mother's basement and get a life. Yeah. Y'all suck. And I wish nothing good for y'all, but, but honestly, that was pretty much it, right? Yeah, there wasn't really much to talk about. 
We put Jit on the hot seat. We didn't really get anything from it. Maria was on the hot seat. She didn't really say anything that we hadn't heard. That already. we hadn't heard already about them going put at Lexi each other. Lexi on the hot seat about her endometriosis and like how she like it was a genuine moment. Which I'll stand by her decision that she made. That yeah, like, you she know, did what was best for her in that in that whole situation because like joey did want to wait some time before he was gonna get married and have kids and like she was on a timeline and she knew that going into the show that it would be a really hard ask for her to do like because she she's mature she like knows what she's going through is a lot for someone to take on and he was ready to take on that responsibility he just didn't understand the full effect of what she's going through because she is on a very harsh timeline when it comes to having kids. So she just, they she, he had to understand the whole situation. But he didn't understand it in depth as to having kids. So I hope she finds someone. If not, I hope she can find a way to adopt a baby of her own to be a mother. I know there's no... No comparison to having the baby yourself rather than adopting, but I know she'll be a terrific mother to someone. But would you really want Joey raising your kids anyways? Like, I mean, sure, you'd have some probably some attractive kids, but they would be boring as hell. Like, Joey has no personality whatsoever. They'd, be, they'd love tennis. They'd love tennis, and they'd be able to do a real shitty cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally all he's done. That's all he's done. <laughs> the guy sucks. <laughs> I I don't like Joey. I think he sucks personally. Like if I if I if I were a contestant on this show, I would have left halfway through the season and been like, dude, you suck. <laughs> I'm gonna go find somebody else. Well, guys, that is Johnny's two cents on Joey yet again. <laughs> I'll continue to say it. I'll continue to we say it. We got one more week of it. We got one more week, and guess what I'm going to say next week? Joey, Joey sucks. sucks. <laughs> because I guarantee you we're not going to get a season's worth of character development in one week. No, so, no, not at all. We'll see him cry a lot. That's what we know for a fact is he's going to cry. I also feel like every time he cries, it's fake. I ain't never seen one tear come out of that man's eyes. No. He's always like... <laughs> Pinching himself, trying to make him it's cry. like, dude, you're just touching your eye. Ain't nothing coming out. <laughs> like, except he does, he does on the on the preview for next week has one of those cries. Like, you know, whenever you're a kid and you're crying and your dad is like, oh, you be quiet or I'll give you something to cry about. And then you try and like suck all your cries in and you're like, <laughs> Joey, Joey had one of those where he was like, <laughs> so. Maybe, maybe it is real. I don't know. <laughs> what if, what if, what if Joey's mom is in the, is like behind camera and she's like, "Stop crying! I'll give you something to cry." About. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> quit crying, boy. <laughs> I'm tired of this, Grandpa. I'm, I'm tired of. <laughs> I'm tired of giving out roses, mama. Well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well. <laughs> do you have another one? I'm tired of getting rejected, mama. <laughs> well, that's too damn bad. Get a personality. <laughs> Stop talking about tennis. <laughs> Tennis sucks. Nobody likes tennis. <laughs> Sorry. We went off on a crazy tangent there. <laughs> moral of the story, Joey sucks. I don't know if that's too much of a moral of just your opinion. It's it's the collective opinion. Come on. I think you're in the minority. You like Joey? No. I think we're in the minority. Okay, I was like, it, I mean, you married me, so I question your judgment already. But like, 
<laughs> whatever. You got anything else? No. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll see you on Thursday for Survivor episode four. Oh, I was going to say, and Love is Blind, but... We're done with Love is Blind. We're done with Love is Blind, the superior show. Yeah, it's done. But we'll have perfect match this summer. We do have perfect match. That'll be fun. Whoop, whoop. Okay, guys, well, we will see you on Thursday with, with Survivor Episode 4. Hopefully there's a tribe swap soon, because Lord have mercy. Bye-bye.